What up, gang? Happy Wednesday. I don't even know what I'm going to do on this lesson. You say you about to start a lesson. You don't know what you're going to do? Y'all know how I roll. I want this lesson to be encouragement for some of y'all that are sorry with your guitar playing. You know, you guys and guys out there, you know who you are. You're like, man, I'm just no good anymore. I, I can't play this thing. Let me start by saying I was awful for years. Why is it so important? If you watch me play now... Whatever, you, you'd probably say, man, he plays pretty good. I wish I could play like him. I was terrible for years. Why is that important to know that I was terrible for years? Because you're probably terrible now. A lot of y'all watching me, hang in there. You, you just don't have the muscle memory yet. Your brain has to send a signal down, all the way down your arm to these fingers to know where to go while it's having a rhythm and a timing, while it's telling this arm up, down, up, down, up, down. There's a lot going on there, a lot of moving parts. Stay encouraged by it just takes time and practice. I'm telling y'all, I, I always say to develop that muscle memory, I do a lot of short practice sessions. Now I'm always doing videos, but back when I was learning, I do a lot of, so I would sit down and just. Just some small, short practice sessions. And more than just learning songs, Play a little while of just trying to develop your own rhythms, your own beats, that kind of thing with different chord progressions. Maybe like I said, maybe those four chords. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Maybe do that, maybe do those bumps, some palm mutes. Whatever, just small practice sessions, 10 minutes, set it down, go do something, come back, keep your guitar always out of the case. If it's in the case, you don't get any better. Pull it out, practice a little bit again, practice a little bit again. Hang in there, guys. I'm telling you, just because you're sorry now, you will get better. The second thing I used to do when I was first learning, um, I, the guitar pick would always slip out of my hands. Now I do a couple things. A lot of times I play songs, I've talked about this in other videos, without a pick. I just use my hands. Uh, even while you see me doing it like this, I'm kind of just using my fingernail there. It's going to deaden the sound a little bit. But it allows you to become one, so to speak, with the guitar. Or, or if you need to pinch and do finger picking. timing and just kind of love doing that so a couple things I did when I struggled losing my pick and that kind of thing I played without a pick a B I got what's called a Dunlop D-U-N-L-O-P Dunlop picks they have like a grip on them these little they were light gray I wish I had one for the video I should have prepared more has a grip that used to help me a lot kind of keep that um keep the pick in my hand so I recommend Dunlop uh, get a thinner Dunlop a pick has like a grip on it with the, with the raised lettering. Another thing I used to do when I first learned where I, was, I couldn't see my the guitar would constantly slide like this. So I, I'd be playing and it would slide down and I couldn't, it was, it was too wide so I couldn't see over it. I bought what's called an ovation guitar. An ovation, y'all probably are familiar, has a rounded back. And by me using that ovation, it would fit a little closer to my body and allow me to see the chords a little better to work on those transitions. So maybe your guitar needs to be a little bit thinner. The, the Taylor GS Mini is awesome for that. Um, maybe your guitar needs to be a little bit thinner or whatever. Maybe an Ovation guitar. If your guitar's sliding out, um, that helped me a lot. Another thing I go over all the time, I used to be absolutely terrible at going to the C chord. I, I would try to play for my mom in church, even though I was awful. And I would do G, E minor, D, and I'd go boop. Well, you can't, during music, go that slow, obviously. So that's when I kind of learned my four chord thing, that that G to G, the C at nine, the G to that, boom, but boom. Like in two bottom strings, fifth and sixth is your G. Just slide it down, that's your C. That helped me so much. Uh, going to a quick C transition, then I can play thousands and thousands of songs. 
So rather than doing that, I can do it now because I've kind of developed that muscle memory, but rather than going to that straight C chord like I used to, now I can stay on that G and just bounce around there. So that's that's common fix. I used to really, really struggle with, say, a B minor chord, and I learned that little trick where you play an A minor. Um, so second string, fourth and third, and just slide it up two frets. And show the bottom four. Sounds just as good, and you can... I will sail my vessel to the river of the stream, Like a bird upon the wing These waters on my sky I just realized... That song doesn't use a B minor till the verse, so start that over. Who's my editor? Cut that that last part I sang, the river Garth Brooks. Cut that whole section out. It didn't use a B minor. Thanks. Look at my editing team over there. Uh, so yeah, just do the A minor, slid up two frets. There's your B minor. Again, I struggled with that forever. What else? The F chord. I remember I just said screw that. There's no way I can play an F chord. And rather than again, again rather I can never do bar chords. I still I'm sorry bar chords. I just kind of pinch, and go fifth and fourth. And then, I mean, so put the first finger on that, um, like I said, on those bottom two strings, then fifth and fourth, and take your middle finger on and off that third string. That's still kind of weird, but I can play it fast if I'm going to it. Um, one of the best pieces of advice, I can't stress this enough. Um, I go over this often, but it's worth repeating. If you think you're sorry at guitar before you give it up, Go into a nice guitar store like a Sam Ash Guitar Center. Maybe you had a friend that owns a nice guitar and play a really expensive thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollar guitar and see if you're still sorry. That's so important to know because I wish someone had told me that. I thought I was awful, awful, awful. I went and got my three thousand dollar Taylor guitar. It was like, it's like the heavens open up. And I sounded amazing. I was like, wait a minute. This same guy that was sorry over here, I went and got a nice guitar. And it sounded incredible. So some of y'all, the, the guitar you bought off Amazon or at Walmart or your, your granddaddy's granddaddy passed down to you, it's so petrified and awful, you can't get a clear sound if you wanted to. So you think, man, I just can't ever sound like mad. I can't ever play that good. It's because your guitar is sorry. So if you played a really, really nice guitar, you'd be like, man, that sounds so clear. This is my mother's guitar, Blue Ridge guitar. I didn't know about the brand Blue Ridge, but I love this guitar. It sounds so clear. Just a great sound. I think it's maybe five, six, seven hundred bucks. Uh, but. So I can say, if you, what is, what's the old saying? If you, if you don't want to, you'll find an excuse. If you want to, you'll find a way. Like, if you really know that you love music, like I do, you love music and you want to learn this instrument, don't stop, guys. Don't stop. If you have to save all your money, don't eat, a, don't eat lunch for a, six months and buy you a nice guitar. You don't have to pay for lessons. You know I got you here free. Uh, so. I mean, stick with it, guys. I'm telling you, uh, if you're a young guy and you want to pull ladies, learn the guitar. That's another story. I can do a video on that in itself. If you want to teach your kids, if you want to have fun playing in church, you want to hear songs on the radio, man, stick with this, guys. Don't get frustrated. You can do it. I said it here first. Check out my website, countrysongteacher.com. I'll keep the tips coming. Keep two more tutorials. Throwback Thursday tomorrow. So that's going to be big. I always love that day. Um, thank you guys for the... For the for the encouragement, all this stuff. I got beginner DVDs, digital, that I, that I emailed to you right away. I've got hard copies at countrysongteacher.com. Uh, super, super discounted right now. So head over there, check it out. My four chord song book. You can learn this, guys. Don't give up. I'm so, so, so thankful I didn't. I don't want you to either. You guys have a great day. God bless.